Hold still. That wasn't it. Just quit, quit, quit squinting. Don't squint. Keep your eye open. There, there. I think I got it. Oh no, that was something else. Just some goop. I'm trying to remove this speck from your eye. Well, I've got a log in my own. You know what I mean? Where it says in Luke, don't be going around trying to remove the speck from somebody's eye before you remove the log from your own. I'm half blind, so don't listen to me when I come talking about my judgment of you, whoever you may be, the world in general. So speaking of eye, eye doctors, there's this eye surgeon by the name of Jerry Tennant who gave a talk at the uh, Electric Universe conference in England in 2017. You know, they don't, never tell me about these things. They, well, they should, in fact, I should have been one of the speakers at that conference. I knew, I've known those guys since they were pups, just young, young kids back in the 1970s, the Electric Universe people, Thunderbolts Info, Thunderbolts.info, the Velikovskians, really an amazing bunch of people. And they're headquartered here in Portland, and I used to work for him doing videos back in the early 90s, 90s, 80s, I forget. Anyway, I first met met up with Dave, David uh, Talbot in the 70s, so I've known these guys a long time, and I became friends with his son, Stuart, also known as Michael Goodspeed. A little rat pack going on here in Portland, Oregon, and Virginia City, Nevada. Anyway, Jerry Tennant is talking about how the electric, the, the human body is basically an electric instrument. And talking about the electricity of the human body, that the cell it acts out like a battery. Now, this is interesting because he's not the only, did I mention that he's a, uh, besides being an eye doctor, he's a, uh, an eye, he's an eye surgeon. Besides being an eye surgeon, he's a homeopath. <laughs> I mean, this is getting cooler by the moment. And he's talking about how the, the human cell, or all cells, are basically batteries. They're charging and discharging and using the piezoelectric effect. You know, the big squeeze? I was talking about that in my other video. This is one of my... One of my theories for homeopathic remedy is that it's powered, that is that it involves the piezoelectric effect. And he's, and I was, in fact, I was talking about that in my last one, how, you, how they explode a, a hydrogen bomb, they implode it, compresses the energy, deforms matter, comes out as electrons, radiation, kaboom. And that's what's going on in the homeopathic remedy. Anyway, um, Jerry was talking, not Jerry, G Professor Tennant, whoever, whoever, whatever his designation is, Dr. Tennant, said that, um, he's talking about electron, about uh, pH, parts hydrogen. I flipped when I heard that. I thought, of course, I haven't, haven't factored parts hydrogen into this. You know, I'm, I've been on this hydrogen kick now. And uh, how it's the elemental unit of the, of the universe. And uh, and talking about the basic basic fundamental design of uh, of matter. And here's Jerry Tennant talking about parts hydrogen, negative and positive, acid and po acid and base. You know, and it's really talking about the direction of travel of the electron, isn't it? Going through one thing and out back into another that the the um the atom the, the what we would think of as the fundamental particle it's basically a vortex and this vortex is a, is a series of strand there are strands of electrons that are hooked together in a transverse orbit like like this, 
like a chain. They're chained together. That these chains even form into weaves that's like a chain link fence. And that this is the fundamental structure of matter, is the electron forming into these chains and fields and arrays and coalescing in vortexes, like a, like a tornado, spinning tornado, that's sucking energy into it, but also sucking energy in at a, at a um, higher rate than it's putting it out. But it, like it sucks it in as radiation, it puts it out as heat, light. It comes into a celestial body as these electrons or these, this radiation comes into the it's funneled into the, the central body like Earth, to the planet Earth, as electrons, and that's gravity pushing us down. Gravity doesn't suck, it pushes. So it's pushing down, so it's flowing through you. It's coming out as heat, magma, and light. And that's, that's a, the uh, reciprocating flow of energy of the universe, it has to reciprocate. When you look at the standard model of physics, I mean, the standard model of failure is basically what it is. You know, when has it ever been right? <laughs> standard model of physics. Democrates, Democrates, you stop talking to that till Parmenides, you'll twist your head all around. You know, the debate between Democrates and Parmenides, Democrates, Basically, is the guy that put forward atomic theory, the basic atomic theory of, uh, of the particle, the finite particle, gets down to a spot with just this hard ball and it's got nothing in it, <laughs> or some stuff. But you can't, you, you know, you, it's just dead after. It, well, we don't know. Basically, just it's a piece of mud or something. Whereas Parmenides and Zeno, you know, this is where the Zeno's paradox comes from: is that you keep cutting something. At what point is it? become nothing, you know, the, which is the theory of the infinitesimal. There is no end to what the smallest particle could be. Do you understand? But there could be a structure to it. And the structure goes like this, like a chain, like a, a chain. And these are, this is electron flow working like a wheel that's interlocked with another one, a transverse orbit or um, um, Ferris wheel. I mean, um, what do they call the one on the plate going around and around? Fer not a Ferris wheel. Well, it could be a Ferris wheel. Without any spokes, though. So like a chain that these electrons are spinning around in, in uh, wheels, interlocking rings. Yeah, there you go. Interlocking rings that are hooked together like a chain. And, uh, this is the basic structure of matter, but I hadn't thought about in terms of parts hydrogen. You know, most of the of the energy, most of the known matter in the universe is hydrogen, like half of it. And then oxygen, I think, is a quarter of the rest of it. And then, and then another quarter is uh, given to all the other elemental gases. So it's all out there to begin with. I don't hear people talking about that very much in elementary physics. It's really all out there in the form of energy. And the energy is, matter is defined by its structure. The fundamental structure being as I define it, but that can go into looking like anything, even me or you. Yeah, you. So that's been the, the basic uh, idea that I, want to get across, but I thought it was really interesting that Tennant was talking about parts hydrogen because that indicates flow, that indicates a direction of flow. You know, they're coming around. These these big thinkers are starting to come around. This is Gerald Pollack, up at the, the professor of, of uh, something or another up at the University of Washington, has written a book called The Fourth Phase of Water. And he was recently speaking at uh, the 2018 Electric Universe Conference and uh, on the topic of homeopathy. Then we got this guy Montaigne, Roland Kahn, Jacques Bendeniste, 
you know, some pretty intelligent guys, Nobel Prize winning kind of guys. Baring was another Nobel Prize winner, was into homeopathy. Mark Twain was into homeopathy. I mean, he doesn't count because he's a big liar. But he wasn't a literary genius, the literary genius of the American scene. So there have been a lot of intelli very intelligent people. Rockefeller was a homeopath. Mary Baker Eddy was a homeopath, the lady that founded Christian Science. At one point, probably the richest woman in America, if not the world. It's Mary Baker Eddy, the founder of Christian Science. And she was a homeopath before she became a divinity, a deity. Yeah, Mary. Well, I did this video once before and discovered that I hadn't turned it on. I was sitting here talking to an empty screen. And I went to play it back and it's gone. See, I lost it. Oh, no. I hate it when that happens. Well, I can't think of much of anything more to say. Well, there's a lot, lot out there. I just can't think of what it is at the moment. I've probably been prattling on enough. My last video went on for 34 minutes. At one point, you can see Hudson walking out of the room. <laughs> Look, oh, I've had enough. Oh, yeah, well, so have I. But listen, gratitude is everything. And I want to thank you for tuning in my video and giving me all the support you have. I really appreciate it. I mean, we, we're not that big of a group yet. But yet, I mean, who, <laughs> what am I thinking anyway? Probably it'll go, go, it'll go down. Probably this is my high point now is 73 views. But maybe if I hit, if I just could change one person's life. <laughs> so there's a comedian said that, can I just make one person laugh? It's been worth it all. <laughs> okay, I'll quit feeling sorry for myself. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching.